to or back to my channel so today I'm back with a super exciting video today I'm gonna be doing a video all about Ikea I am obsessed with Ikea like literally obsessed today I'm gonna be talking all about the best items at Ikea so kind of like my favorite items I feel like every item I own from Ikea is my favorite so I'm just gonna be kind of going room by room bedroom living room and kitchen area I'm also gonna be kind of going over my storage favorites from Ikea as well as kind of like home essentials this is also just kind of like my Ikea collection. I'm basically gonna be talking about everything I own. I have a list of my phone, so I might be kind of looking at my phone throughout this video. If you guys like Ikea as much as I do, you should definitely check out my other Ikea videos. I will have them linked below. I did an entire Ikea kind of like room makeover video where I basically replaced all of my furniture with Ikea furniture, the mom collection, which I will definitely be talking about in this video. I filmed the process, so I will link that video here if you guys want to check it out. It's just kind of like an entire Ikea room makeover sort of video. I also have done so many Ikea shop with me videos like shop with me vlogs and hauls and stuff like that so I will link a couple of those here. Also just link them below in the description or kind of throughout this video. I did just post my entire apartment tour so if you want to see kind of like how the Ikea items that I'm mentioning in this video are kind of styled i guess in my apartment definitely check out my apartment tour i am just obsessed with ikea i love it so much i feel like everything there is pretty affordable stylish kind of modern and pretty good quality for the most part everything i've bought from there has held up really nicely i don't mind assembling it myself i actually kind of enjoy it like it's just a really smart way to shop for furniture i feel like with furniture it goes in and out of style so quickly so i don't like to spend a lot for it ikea is still pretty good quality speaking of shopping smart i have been loving sidekick i mentioned this in one of my recent recent videos. It's a free newsletter that is sent twice a week. It doesn't blow up your inbox like a lot of other companies where you're sent stuff multiple times a day. It's just twice a week and it gives you recommendations on how to live smarter. I feel like for me personally, whenever I'm trying to Google something or look something up on the internet, whether it is furniture or home decor or really anything, there are just so many options and it is really hard to find what I'm looking for. And I just don't have the time to go through all of those articles and search options. That's why I really love Sidekick because it's basically your personal sidekick that searches every corner of the internet for you and gives you the best recommendations on how to live smarter. It saves you time looking for the best ways to work, productivity tips, habits to form and also good ways to upgrade your living space basically if it's worth your time it is definitely on sidekick recently there was actually an article i will show it here on the screen so a couple of the tips that i took from that article was to bring the outside inside and bring some plants into your space so i feel like plants are really big right now and i've definitely been very into them so some specific recommendations that sidekick had were the zz plant and a snake plant because they're both really easy to take care of i did recently pick up the snake plant after reading that you feel like plants are such a good way to kind of spice up your living space another really good decoration tip was to incorporate something old to kind of give your home a sense of time so i have a little vintage vase and a record player i feel like it is kind of good to mix it up a little bit they're just full of great great tips there's really no reason not to subscribe to sidekick if you're looking for ways to live smarter it's completely free and literally takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe definitely click the link in my description so you can subscribe to sidekick today i think you guys would find it so helpful and love the tips that they have on there now that you know some extra tips on how to live smart let's just go ahead and get into my ikea favorites and my collection i just wanted to share that with you because i feel like it kind of goes with shopping smart and ikea is all about living smart as well so i feel like it just kind of fits in so i just wanted to share that little tip with you guys i think you would love sidekick and all the recommendations they always have really good home recommendations on there as well so definitely make sure to subscribe and let's just get into my ikea favorites i went to get a drink of my coffee and literally spilled it so i'm gonna change real quick first category is bedroom like furniture and bedroom items from ikea also i just want to say i'm gonna have all of the actual names of the items um, on the screen as well as the prices and I'm also gonna have links below to everything I'm showing in this video So the first thing is my clothing rack you guys have definitely seen this in basically every video I feel like it's usually behind me and you've also seen it in, like outfits videos and things like that I feel like it is always behind me. This is like literally one of my favorite purchases I also think it's one of my first purchases from Ikea $12.99 and I absolutely love this one. I'll show you guys a little clip of it what I really like about this one specifically is that it has the little rack at the bottom for shoes so I can put some of my favorite seasonal shoes. I'm also able to hang like purses and hats and stuff on the side and I could not recommend it enough. The hangers, I 
also got those from Ikea. They come in white and wood. Next up for the bedroom category is the mom furniture. So you guys have probably also heard me talk about this so much. If you guys want to know more information about the mom furniture, definitely check out my whole entire room decoration video. I have the nightstand. I'll show you guys what that looks like. It has two drawers and they're very decent drawers. One of them is packed full of socks and I can fit quite a bit in there. I have the actual just like bed frame and then I added the drawers, which is what I really loved about the mom bed specifically is that you can add drawer storage to the bottom. So instead of having just like the regular bed frame, you can have storage drawers underneath and one drawer alone is so much storage like they're wide and deep i think it's 75 dollars for a set of two drawers so i have four drawers that would be 150. i also really love the very simplistic headboard i also have the six drawer dresser but there's two six drawer dressers so i'm not sure how they're named. I guess it would be the tall six drawer dresser. It's $159. I actually like the other dresser better, the one I did not get. It's the longer like six drawer dresser. So it's just like, I'll show you guys pictures so you can kind of see the difference. My sister actually just got that one for her apartment. I like that one, but I didn't think it would fit very well in my old bedroom. It probably wouldn't have fit very well in my apartment either. So I ended up going with the taller six drawer dresser. These are prone to toppling over, I believe. Ikea recommends to mount them to a wall. I did not mount mine. I got some questions on my apartment tour about this. I didn't mount mine. The thing I like about the shorter six drawer dresser is that it would be really good to mount a TV above. So if you want a TV in your bedroom, I would probably get the shorter one because I feel like the tall one is kind of awkward to put a TV above. But the dresser was 159, which is a really good price. Again, the drawers are really deep and I feel like I can fit so much in them. I think that's everything I got for the mom furniture but I really like it. I've had it for a little over a year now. I open the drawers for all of my furniture pretty much every day and they all seem very brand new. I got like all of my furniture for I think less than $500 for the dresser, nightstand, bed. Next up, this could go in really any area of your house. So I think it would be good for the bedroom or like living area. So I actually do have it in my living area. It is the Hove, Hobbit, Hobbit or Hove mirror. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It is $119 but it is just, it's just a really big frameless mirror. I kind of want to get a second one for my room. Currently, I just have a smaller version of this from Target. This is just a really good, big frameless mirror. I absolutely love this. Like it is so perfect. 119 is kind of expensive, but I feel like any frameless mirror that I've seen at Target or anywhere else is at least 90. And this one just is a really good size and it just looks so sleek. I have it in my living room and it just kind of my living room slash kitchen and it just opens it up. Next up is like fake plants, specifically this fake fiddle fig plant. Um, I've actually, like I said, been really getting into plants, but fiddle figs are really hard to take care of, I believe. My sister has one. They're kind of, they're a little tricky. I love the look of them, but I feel like I'm not quite ready for a real one yet. So I love the Ikea fake one. I've seen fake fiddles at Target and other places, and they just look really fake. Like the leaves are really green and like plastic looking, but the Ikea one looks so good. Like people actually think it's real. It's $50 and it's called... This, this is what it's called, but I think that's what all the fake plants at Ikea are called. But this is a great addition to a room. I think it looks really nice. Next up, I don't have this mirror anymore, but I used to have it in my old room and I loved it. It was one of my favorite Ikea purchases. It's great for like a vanity or to set on your bathroom counter, great for doing your makeup. And it's this little tabletop mirror. It's it's called this and it's $14.99. It is just so great for doing your makeup. Like it's a really good size. I like it so much better than those like little round ones on the stand. It's just like bigger and I feel like I can just see my makeup so much better. It was like in 3D. Like I felt like I was doing my makeup in 3D. It was just like the perfect little tabletop makeup mirror and for only $14.99. Last up for the bedroom, it is a desk. Ikea literally has the best desks. I wouldn't get a desk from anywhere else, I don't think. I have the Alex desk. I feel like I've talked about this in so many videos, but it is literally the best desk. It's like the perfect size for a computer. So if you can put a computer on it, I have an iMac and it fits comfortably and I still have a lot of space for um, like papers and other things. And I could just spread out my planner and all my homework and papers and textbooks. There's a lot of good drawer storage. And then another desk option. I love the Hemnes desk. If I'm saying that right, I'm probably saying all this wrong. I think this would be great for like an office room, or just like a nice, 
good sized desk. Okay, so that is everything for the bedroom. So moving on to like the home section, like living room and kitchen furniture. First off, it's my kitchen table. So it is this style. Um, it's 179, which I feel like is a good price for a kitchen table. I love this one though, because it's so basic. Like I think it would literally go in any space. You can put different chairs with it to kind of make it go in different spaces. Like have these plain black leather ones. They are this style from Ikea and they are $89 each, but I just love this table and chair set. And then next up, this is also one of my favorite purchases, this black kind of glass shelf. You guys have probably seen it so much in my videos. I feel like I've shown it a lot. It is, it's called this and it's $79.99. I feel like that is a really good price for this type of shelf. It also comes in white. I think it's really cute. You could easily put this in a bedroom or you know, living room, kitchen. I feel like this is very versatile and would go in a number of different spaces. It also comes in some different sizes and styles. So like shorter or just like half that size, but still tall. Next up, I just wanted to mention this. I kind of have this in my living area, which would be real plants. Ikea does have a good plant selection. Typically, I like to get my plants from nurseries, like local nurseries. I've gotten a couple palms from Ikea. Those are just really hard to take care of. So I like to get them from Ikea because if I spend a lot of money, it's probably gonna die because I'm very bad at taking care of them. They're only $14.99 and I feel like at nurseries, they're usually at least double that price. Their plants are a fraction of the price and they do have a really good selection. Okay, next up is storage just throughout your house. I feel like Ikea has so many great storage related things like baskets and bins and whatnot. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. First off is this. It's just like this little cart. I have it in my technically my closet, but my laundry, my washer and dryer is in my closet. So it's I guess my laundry room, but I just have it between my washer and dryer. It's perfect to set my laundry soap on and some other cleaning supplies. It's perfect for that. I think this cart comes in other sizes as well. Next up are these little cubes. So I don't know if they're called cubes, I'm like blinking on what to call these. And I have some of these in my closet. I actually just already have these. So these aren't even technically from Ikea, but Ikea sells basically the same thing. They sell them in like, you can get like four cubes, six cubes, probably two cubes, probably whatever you're looking for. Ikea sells them. I just think these are really great. I use it to store my jeans in my closet to kind of have it like a little denim wall. I used to work in American Eagle, so it's like a little denim wall. Or you could just put like little bins, use it to store like a variety of things. I think this is great, especially for closet storage. Next up is drawer organizers. So Ikea calls them these. I, don't, I literally could not pronounce that if I tried. Um, they're $3.99. I just have these in my kitchen drawers to organize my silverware and kitchen utensils and things like that. These are super helpful. Okay, last up for the storage category is this little basket. So I have this in my room to put all my throw blankets in and I think it's really cute. I love the kind of like wicker look. I feel like that's really cute and trendy right now. And this is actually a really good size. I feel like I can fit so many blankets in it and my sister has this as well and she loves to just put all of her pillows in at the end of the day when she unmakes her bed. So definitely fit quite a few blankets and pillows and stuff like that in it. Um, and it also looks really cute. And for the last category, I just have kitchen slash glassware, like home essentials type of thing. And I'm just going to mention a few of my favorites because I could literally list like a hundred items. This can almost be an entire video in itself, which I've considered doing, but I just thought I'd mention a few of my favorites in here. So for glassware, I've got the, this, Pokal, Pokal, um, this little glass cup. I use this for smoothies, iced coffee. I think it's so cute and it's only 79 cents. I think it also comes in pink and blue and some other colors now. I just have a clear one. I use this every day for my smoothies. It also comes in like a shorter version as well. But next up are these little glass mugs. These are also really great for iced coffee or hot coffee or whatever. They are $2.99 for the smaller size and $3.99 for the bigger size. And then I also have, this is technically like a whiskey glass. Um, but I think it's really cute if I were to make cocktails or even just if I want like a cute glass for water or iced coffee or whatever. I just think it, I just thought it was a cute glass. Um, it's $2.99 for one single glass, which is kind of expensive, but it's cute. Next up are just some wine glasses. I got a six pack for $14.99. Ikea just has such great glassware. Like I could spend forever in the glassware section. There's just so many cute glasses. Like I want them all. Next up, I love these little glasses. They're called like the Ikea 365 Plus Clear Glass. It's $5.99 for the smaller one, $6.99 for the bigger one. And it's just like this perfect like drinking glass. 
Next up is this little glass bowl. It's perfect for salsa or guac or some kind of dip. It's 99 cents and just, just a really good essential. I also have some really nice little measuring cups and measuring spoons. There's $4.49 for the spoon, $6.99 for the measuring cups and they're metal and good quality. Okay, and last up is just like this little corkscrew bottle opener type of thing. For $2.99, it's just like a nice little small bottle opener thing. Okay, so I think that is everything for my Ikea favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to click the link below so you can subscribe to Sidekick. I think it would be very helpful. They just have so many good recommendations to live smarter. I forgot to say this, but definitely comment below what your favorite item from Ikea is. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. I feel like I'm always posting Ikea stuff, so if you guys like Ikea, you should definitely subscribe. I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and and I will see you in my next one. Bye.